Ravi has 10,000 rupees with him. He intends to divide it between his two daughters whose ages are 14 and 10 respectively. Both the daughters will deposit the received amount in a bank which offers an interest of 8% per annum. Right? 8% per annum. Uh, he intends to divide the amount in such a way that both the daughters have an equal amount when they turn 18. What is the approximate amount that he should give to her? To his elder daughter. Okay. Uh, so, so what exactly is happening here? There is an amount of 10,000 rupees which he wants to divide between two daughters who are aged 14 years and 10 years. What are these daughters going to do? Let's, let's say they get the shares. Uh, elder daughter and younger daughter, right? So let's say the shares are E and Y respectively. Elder daughter is 14 years old, she gets E. Younger daughter is 10 years old, she gets Y rupees out of 10,000. Such that E plus Y is equal to 10,000. Remember this. Right? E plus Y is 10,000. Now, both of these daughters will deposit the amount in their respective bank accounts. And the bank will offer them 8% per annum. 8% per annum. He intends to divide the amount in such a way that both the daughters have an equal amount when they turn 18. See, when they turn 18, E is going to deposit it for how many years? For 4 years. Because after 4 years, she'll turn 18. And she gets what? 8% per annum. Y is going to deposit it for 10 years. Uh, sorry, 8 years. Because she's already 10 years old. She's 10 years old. After 8 years, she'll turn 18. So her amount will be in the bank for 8 years. Similarly, E is currently 14 years old. After 4 years, she turns 18. So her amount will be there in the bank for 4 years. And the bank is offering 8% per annum to both of them. So we know their principal amounts. We know the time periods. We know the rates of interest. The total amount they receive at the end should be equal. The amount received by E should be equal to the amount received by A. Such a way that both the daughters have an equal amount when they turn 18. So what is the approximate amount that he should give to his elder daughter? See, what do you mean by... Uh, see, now, first of all, is this a simple interest case or a compound interest case? Now, generally we say if nothing is specified, we should take it as a simple interest case. But in this case, you have to go for a compounding process. Because they are going to withdraw the amount only at the end of it. Right? So, I think we should consider it to be a compound interest case. It's, it's, it cannot be taken as a simple interest case. Yeah? Whatever is the interest they earn will get, added, uh, get added back to their principal amount. Right? That's what happens in the bank. Whatever interest you earn this year, in the first year, will get added to your principal amount. And on that, again, you will get the interest for the next year. So it's a compounding process. Now, what's the formula for amount in case of compound interest? How do you calculate amount in case of compound interest? P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of T. Yes or no? That's the formula you have to use. So amount earned by elder daughter is equal to the amount earned by younger daughter. What is the amount? P, principal of the elder daughter, which is E. Yes or no? This is the principal amount, E into 1 plus rate is 8 by 100, whole to the power of time period is 4 years, equals to Y into 1 plus 8 by 100, whole to the power of 8. Yes or no? Principal into 1 plus R by 100, whole to the power of time period. Principal into 1 plus R by 100, whole to the power of time period. Both of these are equal. So what happens if you see, this gets cancelled. We are left with power 4 here. So basically, E by Y. E by Y will be 108 by 100 whole to the power of 4. 108 by 100 raised to the power of 4. So that's like 27 by 25. I mean, we will get the ratio. It's, it's basically, the ratio is 27 power 4 divided by 25 power 4. And the total amount is 10,000. Now divide it in this ratio. But 27 power 4, 25 power 4 are difficult to calculate. I mean, time consuming. Time consuming. The one thing we can say is that the yeah. Now, doing this calculation is going to be time consuming. 27 power 4 by 25 power 4 and dividing it in that ratio, 10,000 rupees in that ratio is going to be time consuming. But from this ratio, it's obvious that the elder daughter shares is greater than younger daughter share. The elder daughter share should be greater than the younger daughter share. Yes or no? Because look at the ratio, 27 power 4 and this is 25 power 4. So E is greater than Y. Now, if you look at the options, you know that option 1, option 2, option 4, option 5 cannot be the answers. Answer has to be option C. Because the total amount is 10,000 rupees. 
if the elder daughter if the elder daughter gets 4000 rupees 4400 younger daughter will get how much 5600 approximately here the younger daughter will get how much 6300 here the younger daughter gets how much 4500 here she gets how much 5300 here younger daughter gets how much 5800 approximately this is younger daughter share this is elder daughter share the top row is younger daughter share the bottom row is elder daughter share we know that the elder daughter share should be greater than younger daughter share based on this ratio look at it in first option y is greater than e here also y is greater than e here y is greater than e here also y is greater than e so all these options are eliminated the only option where you find y is less than e is this one hence option c can be taken as the correct answer now this is smart solution without actually solving it without actually putting you know doing the complete solution of course we need to arrive at this conclusion that e is going to be greater than y based on the ratio and we get the answer you're getting it the other way to do it is maybe you can go for allegation rule but there also calculation needs to be done or no allegation rule cannot be applied because there's nothing like a mixture here right yeah these are all two independent cases so allegation cannot be applied but this is a simple solution smart solution in fact 27 power 4 by 25 power 4 indicates e is greater than y the only option where e is greater than y is option c